Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Morning Call High School football discussion. We're down to the final three, the Eastern Red Rovers, the Central Catholic Vikings, and the Northern Lehigh Bulldogs, all playing state playoff games this weekend. The excitement growing, and here to talk about it, Tom Haustick. Tom, uh, it's nitty-gritty time. Yeah, I think there's going to be a lot of challenges for our local teams this week. I think Northern Lehigh is probably going to face the best team they're going to see all year. I mean, even if they win this game, this might be the best team they'll face. So I think they've got a big challenge. I think Central Catholic obviously has, has big plans, and so does Easton. Well, Central Catholic also has the longest trip. They're headed yeah. back to Shemokin, which is not a great venue for them because that's where they lost to Salins Grove uh, in this same round last year. They were disappointed uh, with that destination and that venue, but I think they can handle the challenge of Clearfield. I think, well, we saw what Seals Grove would do last year. They won the state title, but uh, I think Central Catholic clearly is the favorite. They're playing a team similar to them. They have similar strengths. Clearfield has some speed. They're not quite as big as some of the teams Central Catholic has seen. So I think from that standpoint, the Vikings have to feel pretty good about themselves getting to the next round. Revenge is in the hearts of the Red Rovers as they take on a LaSalle team that in the snow knocked them out of the state tournament same round last year. That game was at Bethlehem School District Stadium. Now they're going to Philly. Uh, the Rovers did that incredible thing again. You know, they, they, they bounced back and knocked off uh, Whitehall uh, just 48 hours or you know maybe 50 hours after uh, losing to Phillipsburg, they they just amazed me with their heart. Well, there's, I can't imagine what that was like to, to be able to play two football games at that intensity, with that that level of play, and, and just have your body be able to respond to second game. Uh, the first one you can understand, it's a rivalry game, it's Thanksgiving, but then to come back two days later in a do-or-die situation, I think that's just amazing, the fact that they can get past all of the, the physical uh, problems that you can have just getting your body to react and, and, and really respond the way they did. Well, we're in the state quarterfinals. Who gets to the semis, Tom? I think Central Catholic, without a doubt. I think they're, I th they're a heavy favorite, in my opinion, uh, just based on what I know. Uh, Northern Lehigh and Easton, again, 50-50. They, they both have chances. If they play very well, I think they can win. But I think Central Catholic clearly has the, 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 the better uh, path to go here to get to the semis. Well, it's going to be cold outside this weekend. Bundle up, take those maps. And we'll see you again next week with another high school football report.